Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it is Pater Review time again. And for today, we're going to be doing a bag from Fast Freddy's Gold. This is a one pound bag with a guaranteed three quarters of a gram of gold, which made my guaranteed ROI on the day of purchase 83%. So I'm really excited to get into this, Pater. I've never seen any reviews or comments or anything about this seller anywhere on the internet. So I'm really excited and let's just get right to it. So here's the description. Now, as you saw, pretty basic description with this seller. I did pull some of that information from the home page, and part of it was from his actual pater page with this specific pater. Not a ton of information, it does tell you where it's from and the weight and amount of gold, etc., but not too much more than that. So let's just open it up, weigh it up, and see all this. It is supposed to be one pound, so let's see. I do like the bag. This will be added to my collection. I always like these bags. One pound, 0 0.7 ounces. So let's open it up to see what it looks like. It is supposed to be from North Carolina. And it looks like North Carolina pay dirt. A little bit of bigger material in there. Not too much though. Just have to see when we classify it down. Oh, and there's a dime in there. 1998D. So, well, got a dime in there. <laughs> Must know I like dimes. All right, let's listen to some music and classify this down. Okay, I'll finish classifying everything down. And as you can see, the majority of the material is in the minus 20 and minus 40. A little bit in here and here, but not too much. I'll be curious to see where all the gold is. I'm guessing probably the majority of it's going to be in these two pans. I don't think there'll probably be too much in here, if anything at all. But we'll only find out once we pan it out. But right first, let's check it for any magnetite. It doesn't look heavy in black sands and yeah not too much check the other ones almost nothing there yeah almost nothing there all right let's go pan this out and see where we get this gold at. So have some clean water, have my pan, have my pay dirt, and let's just get started with the plus 10 and listen to some more music.
Well, finished panning everything out as you saw, and I have to say it was pretty fun painter to go through. I enjoyed it. I didn't find any problems with it, and I found gold. So what's more to say other than let's show you the gold. So in the plus 10, I did find some gold. Three nice little pieces in there. Pretty surprised. I really wasn't sure if I was going to find any plus 10, but I did. And there you go. And then in the minus 10, plus 20, even more gold. Nice little pile, probably 25 pieces. A couple really round pieces in there that made it difficult to pan. As you can see, it's still trying to roll around and escape, but it didn't. So, And in the minus 20, plus 40, even more gold. Probably 30, 35 pieces, maybe some more in there. So again, a nice little pile in the minus 20. And lastly, in the minus 40, even more gold. About 10, 15 pieces. So that was pretty surprising too. I was really enjoyed this painter. It had good gold in every classification. And I enjoyed it. So let's just start weighing this up in the plus 10. Zero point four three five. Now I am guaranteed three quarters of a gram in this bag. Zero point three three zero. So that should be right around the three quarters of a gram. Zero point one three five. And I don't know if this will budge the scale or not. We'll see. Nope, just not enough to budge the scale. Now let's weigh it all up. Let's see what we get. Zero point nine zero five, and I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from Fast Freddy Gold. It was his one pound bag, guaranteed three quarter grams of gold. Its cost was fifty dollars. Shipping was free, so total cost right here, 50 bucks. Now the gold I recovered, again, right here, 0 0.905 grams of gold. Gold spot on the day this was received was $56.95, making this gold's value worth $51.54, which means my ROI was 103.08%. Now I did calculate what my ROI would have been if the price of gold wouldn't have went up in the three days that I was waiting for this painter to come in and it would have been an under 100% ROI. But luckily for me, gold went up and I got an over 100% ROI. Now for fun factor, I'm giving it a 10. I, there's no way I can't. I found gold in every classification. It was fun to pan out and I found a lot of gold, so really happy with it. So fun factor is a 10. Now for painter description, he's only getting a four, and this is this seller's big downfall. It's just not very much information on this website, and it really needs to be more detailed, but it is just a four. Now for quantity and packaging, he's getting a nine. It was over the pound guaranteed, and it came in double bagged, even though the second bag was just a really cool bag, which I really enjoyed but he's getting a nine for quantity and packaging. For customer service and shipping, a 10. Customer service was excellent and it shipped out really, really quickly. So was really happy with this painter all around and for a total score of 8.6. And that really should be higher because the description just sucks. If the description was higher, this would easily be a well over nine point something, something. So. I'm really happy with this pater, and I have to say one last thing about this pater, and that is I love its price point. There is, my favorite price point has always been the $50 to $60 range, because I think that is the best range to get an over 100% ROI. When you're buying small little $20 bags, 
the sellers have to be very, very careful about how much gold is placed in a bag because their profit margins are very, very slim. While when you buy a really expensive bag, sellers tend to, in my experience, not want to put a lot of gold in there because they want to make a big profit off of those bags. Now the 50 to $60 range, that's the ones where if you're doing three quarters of a gram, if you spill a little bit over, you still make a little bit of money maybe, but maybe not. And in this case, the seller probably broke even on this bag. But I think the odds of you getting a very high ROI or an over 100% ROI is much better when you're dealing with a 50 to $60 range bag, which is typically where I buy my pay dirt when I'm just buying for me. But all right, all that's left is flash up the score, give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's flash up the score right here. Now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's gonna to go to Ira O'Donnell. So Ira O'Donnell, thank you for being a subscriber and make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button below to catch more of my videos.